Come on up, kids. I'm so glad that you're here. Do you remember the story I was telling you last week about my career in road hockey? That, you know, I, I almost made it to the World ho Road Hockey uh, League. You remember that story? But I didn't because I was, what was my problem in road hockey? Do you remember? Someone shouted it out over here last week. Do you hear what they said? Cherry picker. Yeah, cherry picker. Well, so this is what happened after, after that whole cherry picking uh, fiasco. The, my teammates decided, you know what they did with me? to solve the cherry picking problem. They put me in net. So they took me from one end and they put me down to the other. And so when I was in the net, I got to watch how it was that everybody played when they were playing hockey. And I noticed that there were some players who when they got the ball, they would never pass it to anyone else. You know what I mean? They, they'd, get, they'd get the ball and they'd stick handle it everywhere and they'd be going down the road. Again, it's road hockey. We weren't on ice. Going down the road and they'd have like a, one of their players over there shouting, I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. And instead of passing it, they'd stick handle through the defense. And there'd be another player going, I'm open, I'm open, pass it here and they wouldn't pass it, and then they'd just go in and try scoring themselves. You, you, you imagine what I'm saying? I'm gonna, okay. Devin or Xander, who wants, to, who wants the stick? You both do. Okay, one of you will step forward to get it. Okay, Xander. So this is, this is what would happen. Uh, you, let's say that you're the person who won't pass it. And no matter what, the teammates tried, they just wouldn't pass it. So I want you to try and keep that ball away from me. Okay, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna try to take it from you. So what are you gonna do to keep it away from me? And probably if you turn your back on me, that might uh, also be a strategy. <laughs> and there, yes, you could pass it down to your mom. Or is it, is it still going down there? Yeah. <laughs> Probably near. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. You're gonna, okay, you ready? Face off. Oh, okay, let's face off. So now let me show you a thing you can do. Try and get the, try and get the ball now. I know. See how hard it is? You try that. Get around here, and there it goes again. There it goes again. <laughs> Wonderful. So, last week we talked about someone being a cherry picker. Do you know what we call the person who won't pass the ball? You know what they're called? Whoever over here was so genius last week, who, what do you call it? What was it? Yes, a puck hog. A puck, have you ever heard that term before, or a ball hog? They just won't share it with anyone else. They are the ball hog or the puck hog. And this is what, let me tell you a story before you head down to children's worship. Do you know what the other players end up doing when they have a ball hog on the team? So I'd be in net, and the ball hog would get the ball, and every other player on the ice which, or on the, on the road would just sit down. And then eventually the other team figured it out and whenever the puck hog who didn't want to play would get the ball, the other team would sit down on the road too and the goalie would walk out of the net and, and sit on the curb so that whenever the puck hog, the ball hog got the ball, they realize it's no fun. No fun not passing it. We're going to talk today upstairs, while you're downstairs with the adults, uh, about what it means to possess something versus passing 
it. So that's what we'll talk about upstairs. You're going to talk about something else downstairs. Before you go downstairs, what should we pass along to the adults? The ball, yes, we've passed them the ball. Let's stand up and, and face out in the congregation. Find somebody, look them in the eyes and say, may God bless you as you stay to hear God's word. May God bless you as you go to hear God's word. All right, follow the leaders down. I'll take the stick back. Thank you.